Just an update on the 3CX really. Um, we realised that we didn't have enough time to do all the necessary work to the 3CX. Um, so that got sold on or part exchanged. And we've got this in its place. We used to operate the, or I used to operate these in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s as a boy. Uh, this was a 1989 580K. Uh, this one's powered by the four cylinder turbocharged Cummins engine. You know, about 85 odd horsepower, I would have thought. It replaced the case 580G. Um, Mine and my dad's and my brother's history goes back a little bit with the 580Ks, the 580Gs and the 580S. We started out on the 580F. Used to drive for a local contractor when I was about 12. Then we progressed to the 580G and then the 580K when that one came into a place. Um, the 580Ks weren't the most reliable when they were new. Or the one that the chap I used to work for wasn't. He had numerous issues front axle issues, main thing was rams cracking, things like that. This one has had some repair work done to the rams. But you look at this, this was about seven, seven and a half thousand pounds or seven two fifty. I think I paid for this one. Four and one, extender O, pallet forks, four or five buckets. And it's got Case's own. Quick hit or semi quick hitch. Uh, there's a little, um, you, can see it, you can see it in there. You hook the back pin. We'll take that pin out. We've lost the clip pin because we were clearing bushes with it the other day. That pin slides out and then you just tip it off and then you hook the back of the new bucket with that one and slide that top pin back in. Basically, it's a very good quick hitch because it doesn't alter the geometry of the bucket and all the breakout force of the bucket. This one was supplied new. I don't know if you can see it there. Southwest Excavators, Case Popane dealers at the time. Um, it's had a little bit of... The cab used to suffer particularly badly with rot. This one's pretty good to be honest. We've got a little patch down there that we've tied it up and a little bit along the bottom of that window sill where the silicone sat between the wing and the but the rest of it on the whole was pretty solid. Uh, we replaced the bottom hydro clamp seals. They were a bit of a weak point on these excavators. Fitted some new lights to bring it back up to roadworthy. You can see there, if I stuck back the case over centre back hoe for transport, made it more compact. And it's locked in by that one there, which is operated for a foot pedal. Um, yeah, the cab, the rest of the cab is pretty solid, just the back of the cab was suffering a little tiny bit with rot. It's the earlier K, because it's got the, I'll show you in a second, it's got the um, levers coming out of the dashboard to control the front bucket. Four and one. Oh. Let me get up and have a look. So g Reg 89, so this would make this one roughly. 32 years old. Um, there you go, you've got your loader controls coming out the dashboard on the next generation. They put your four wheel drive lever, which is what that one there is, and the handbrake. They put that up there on the dashboard and put the, put the four and one and loader controls coming out where this was, which is much more comfortable and safer. You know, you've got a, um, a dump button, so you can dump the transmission, put more power directly to the loader for tipping and lifting. That's your four and one lever. So when you crowd as well, or you clam, you can roll your bucket back and close your bucket at the same time, because that one operates left and right. This digger hadn't done a lot for a while before we bought it. This was all stiff and seized up. There you go, you got your four reverse lever there. Um, got a Chinook somewhere here flying around. If you can see it up there. Currently got 
G7 going on in Cornwall at the moment. Um, you've got the case sliding back windows. Extender hole pedal. The case logo on the mat. All the rubbers are still intact. Uh, that one there is your diff lock. We'll wait for this chat to go over a minute. It's done 9,027 hours. Very typical case dashboard. You got the radio. You got the original. <laughs> Radio mobile speakers, that, um, but what amazes me, we'll, we'll um, run this one up a minute. The, the key, um, the key running engine at the moment. But this is what surprised me the most. You have the fans still working. Blowing hot and cold air. Um, you've got your interior light that still works. Even got your washer still works on the um, space water for the front window. All the wipers, etc., work. For a 32 year old digger, it's done 9,000 hours. I was just pleasantly surprised how much did actually work. Um, in here, which is a storage area, you've got the original case operator's manual. Unfortunately, it's got a bit damp and got a bit of mildew on it, but that's still with the excavator. And we'll pop the bonnet open for you so you can have a look at the top release for that. There's your fuel, fuel filler, hydraulic filler, your brake reservoir all nice and accessible, your washers for the nozzle, for the windscreen washer, sorry. Take them off a minute. And then we have the Cummins four cylinder turboed um, engine, radiator. Yeah, so far I've done quite a bit of work with it and the old machine's gone very well so far, touch wood. Thank you, bye.